Direct from Albany, New York, in the Cable 2000 Studios, it's the Tornay Show, starring Roman. Tonight's show, Roman will be telling tales from his summer vacation. And now, here's Roman. Hello, everybody. We are back here on the Toy Day Show. Ooh wee! That summer went quick. I don't know. Did it go quick? I can't tell. Mm. Yeah. I think it. Uh, hmm. I think it did. I think it did. Yeah. Yeah. I went quick for me since I got to go back. The, 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 went a little quick. I got to uh, slow down. We're gonna stop time for a little bit. But anyway, you got some tales. Yes. So we have some stories here from the summer vacation. Ah. Uh. So one actually happened yesterday, uh, Thursday, while we were going grocery shopping. All right. So um, they redid our Walmart, and um, they had new carts that are like this tall. Yeah, some odd carts. The, the handles are this high. You feel like you're four years old pushing the guard again. So um, there's this uh, older woman, and she was a little bit shorter, so she was like holding the cart like this. Mm -hmm. And she, all right, when she walked in, she was screaming and oh, yelling. I didn't know where you were going, but now I know. So, um, she had this cart, and then, so we were in the candy aisle getting some candy, and she comes into the candy aisle and goes, Sometimes if I'm hungry, I just eat all the candy, and then it's gone. She was loud from the minute she walked in, and talking to no one. But uh, every, we all had to listen, because she was talking mm -hmm. that loud. And then, so we're checking out. Oh, uh, with our groceries, and she's uh, checking out too as well. She's like, uh, "This thing doesn't work," and she's just yelling and yelling. And then, as we're leaving in the vehicle, we see her waiting at the bus stop. She has one loaf of bread. She spent like twenty-five minutes in yeah, the store getting one loaf of bread. I don't know what she was doing in there, and she was complaining about everything. And then when we drove by, she was at the bus stop with her loaf of bread. Apparently, that was a heavy loaf because she needed a cart. She was very distraught about the new system and the new screens. And, and we all just kind of hovered there. Please don't don't address me. Look at, you don't want to look at them. Always look away. If, if there is an eye, if there is a, the eyes are met, you're right. Yeah, whatever they're doing, they're right. I don't care. They're setting a the place on fire. You, it was cold in here. Hey, that's a good idea. Alright, so my next story from the summer vacation is, t I titled this one, McDonald's Madness. Oh. So, <laughs> so, this happened over the summer. We are in the McDonald's up here uh, in Waytham. Okay. And, so we're in there. It was just us two. So you had the tray of food, mm. and I had the two drinks. So we're looking for a seat, and as we turn the corner to, um, you know, check, like, the back area for more seats, mm -hmm. like, I don't know, maybe, like, a four- or five-year-old girl turns, so we're, like, looking at each other now. She gets in this position like this and goes, Spooing at us. You're always going to meet some fine characters in McDonald's. Mm -hmm, so was she was spitting up at us, stories. and the parent was uh, nowhere to be found, or mm -hmm. just, uh, yeah, that's Susie. She'll hawk a loogie every now and then. You just let her go. Hit her on the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my next story is titled, The Loud Mouth Pastor. Right, I was not present for this one. Yes. So, um, I was in <laughs> Pennsylvania last week. Visiting the, the grandparents? Yes. And my uh, grandmother works for a daycare company. She's an inspector of daycare. Yes, so she goes around and she checks on all the daycares. Yep. So this church, so this church <clears throat> already had a lot of problems. And they had like a, like a Sunday school kind of daycare. So um, she was going in to check on this uh, Sunday school daycare and um, she met the pastor there who's a lady and she was talking to her for a while and um, I remember my grandmother saying that she said that she has never heard someone say the F word so many times. <laughs> this is the pastor of the uh, church. <laughs> yes, yeah, so that, that's another funny Blankety story. Blankety blank F and the blank. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. The child of God. (laughs) Spooing her (laughs) vulgarities out to the... Alright, so my last story Mm -hmm. from the summer is titled The Infamous East Pen Butt Pinching. Oh, wow. (laughs) (laughs) What's this show rated to? (laughs) (laughs) So, um... My uncle works for... I make batteries. I remember him saying that this, like, one part of the company, mm. like, this one area, like, shipping or something like that, in that area, there are a different breed of humans in there. Mm. This is a factory setup. Yes. Uh, and, uh, mm. if you can put it in your mind, factory so, setup in Pennsylvania. So, um, <laughs> like, all of the employees <laughs> in this area would put pranks on each other. <laughs> And I guess, um, like, the boss of that area took it too far. And these are all grown men in this area. And he went around and started pinching his employees' butts. Mm. I hear a banjo in the background. (laughs) So the employees told on him. Mm. So they fired him that day. And um, so the next day he came back and said that everyone was pinching each other's butts. Mmm. Wow. Men. Mm-hmm. Manly men handling oh. batteries. <laughs> it's almost like a character we just watched. <laughs> <laughs> I see your terminal needs filling. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> mm, my. And he yeah. said that these are all men with white with wives and kids <laughs> pinching oh, each other's a, butts. What's this called? A beard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sometimes, uh, you know, men in a uh, setting like that will, uh, uh, I'm going to interject a story from my past, if I may. <laughs> uh, this is uh, about guys playing pranks on each other. I remember one time, and they took a gentleman and a fellow employee, they took him out in the parking lot, and they'll kind of get it once it, and they handcuffed him to a light pole. And they pulled his pants down. <laughs> and then we all drove home. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, I, I know it gets a little... Uh, it can get a little rough now and then. That same gentleman uh, was handcuffed <laughs> to a, a gate, let's say, and uh, uh, was teased. <laughs> With the broom. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's as gentle as I can put that. So yeah, I know it can get a little rough out there. You start to play around. Next thing you know, you're it's mid December and you got no pants on and you're handcuffed to a light post. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I have another story, another Walmart story. Okay. I think every time we go there, we get a story. <laughs> so it was the end of our grocery trip, and we forgot salads. Okay. So he, um, you were like in the banana area, maybe. All right. And I was going to get a couple of the salads, and all of a sudden, so there's this older lady oh. there with <laughs> with her husband, and she had a cart, and all of a sudden, <laughs> it's not really. It's kind of funny. And all of a sudden, she, like, rams him, the husband, with this cart. And and he goes, jeez, what are you doing? And then she, like, still has the cart. She's, like, running and tripping, and eventually she falls down. <coughs> she hit the dirt. She was having a, a medical episode of some kind, which well, I couldn't figure out. <coughs> so I look over there, and she's on her knees. Like, all the, and I see her wallowing ra- around like a walrus. <laughs> Might have been the same size. <laughs> and oh, I'm looking at him, like, and then the the what apparently was the husband. He's looking at her, and he's not helping at all. I, I think he's been through this before. So I look over and I go, uh, "Do you need any help, ma'am? Getting off the floor?" And she's, "No, I'm fine. I, oh, my, I'm out of there." So like, uh, you know. So uh, uh, we moved up a little bit, and one of the Walmart employees. That goes over and helps her, and scoops her up by the front. So they're face to face, and he scoops her up like this, and and squats her up. I'm like, well, I wasn't going to do that, but she got up and she was fine. But yeah, 
Yeah, Walmart, if you want entertainment. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. I have a Wendy's story. Um, so we get to the Wendy's, we order, we order, and they had no fish sandwiches, remember mm -hmm. that? No fish sandwiches, so. Yeah. So we get up to the window, we got our food, and the lady hands us your bag, and you say thank you, and she goes, mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that was a lot of effort for her, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you have a wonderful day as well. Maybe something was caught in her throat or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a different workforce out there. It's a, it's a whole different mm -hmm. world. Okay. Very interesting. But yeah, you got to laugh at it. It's just entertainment for us now. All these people out there. So that's, that's it, huh? Yep. Yeah, well, that yeah. wraps up. Just a little tales from the summer. You know, mm -hmm. I'm sure you have your own out there. It's crazy people out there. Stay in your homes. <laughs> All right. Hey, kids. All right. Just have some fun. <laughs>